हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सूरज सोनी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग कैम स्टार सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड सो इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ यू कैन डिटेक्ट a carbon and hydrogen if you have given any compound so if it will be an organic compound then you will find carbon and hydrogen in that compound and if it is not organic compound then then you will not be able to detect the carbon and hydrogen so let's start for today's session so friends in this session i am going to explain you about about the qualitative analysis of organic compound how to test if carbon and hydrogen present in a given compound so let's start with the basic parts first so let's start with the basic part first so basic is what is an organic compound first of all we should know what is an organic compound so basically organic compounds are any compound which contains carbon as a main constituent so this is a basic definition but uh, there is a modification also in definition uh, it is not that only carbon and hydrogen makes complete organic compound there is nitrogen phosphorus sulfur halogen and metals are also present in organic compound all right so let's see the examples so here i have taken example of methane so here in methane compound you can see this is one of the organic compound which contains carbon and hydrogen as a main constituent so second example here is carbon tetrachloride so in carbon tetrachloride as you can see here carbon and chlorine which is nothing but halogen so here this is a one example which includes the halogen in the organic compound so the next example is chloroform so in chloroform as you can see here chcl3 okay so here here is again chloroform is present in this organic compound and the next example is acetic acid so this is the best example you can find here carbon hydrogen oxygen all three as a constituent of organic compound all right so i hope you understood the what is an organic compound with the help of example so let's move to the next slide so here next top next point is qualitative analysis of organic compound so let's see one by one each and every point so the first point is the main elements found in organic compounds are carbon and hydrogen so as i said if you are considering any compound as a organic compound so in that compound you should find a carbon and hydrogen as a main constituent so the next point is the other elements present may be oxygen nitrogen halogen sulfur phosphorus and metals so not only carbon and hydrogen as a main constituent as i said you can also find oxygen nitrogen halogen sulfur phosphorus and metal as a constituent of organic compound all right so next point is qualitative analysis that qualitative analysis is a technique to detect the elements in compound by performing various tests so here it is a definition of qualitative analysis so basically what is an qualitative analysis so qualitative analysis is a technique for detecting the elements in compounds by performing the various tests so let's see which are the test which we can perform for finding out the elements in the given compounds so here test for organic compound first test is detection of carbon and hydrogen so if you if you are performing the detection of carbon and hydrogen test so you can find out the carbon and hydrogen in the organic compound if it is there in that compound all right so the next second test is test for nitrogen so this test is performed to identify the presence of nitrogen in the given compound all right so the next test is test for halogen so this test is performed for the for the identification of fluorine chlorine bromine all these elements if they are in the organic compound to detect all right so the next test is test for sulfur so if it if sulfur is there in the compound then by performing this test you can find out yes sulfur is there so the next test is test for phosphorus and the last test is test for metal so in this session i am going to explain you in detail how to detect carbon and hydrogen if it is there in your compound 
which you are going to analyze all right so let's see how we can detect carbon and hydrogen in the compound so the compound is mixed with dry cupric oxide and the mixture then heated in tube so for, for for detecting the carbon and hydrogen in a given compound first of all you you have to take one dry and clean test tube and in that test tube you have to take a pinch of compound which are which you are going to analyze for finding out the carbon and hydrogen and in that sample you need to add the cupric oxide here as you can see black compound is cupric oxide and then you need to heat it what happens if you heat this compound if the given compound is organic compound and you are finding out the carbon and hydrogen then you will find that after heating your compound will convert into carbon dioxide water and copper all right so let's see with the diagrammatic representations so here you can see in the diagrams inside the test tube you have taken your organic compound or you can say your compound and the cupric oxide when you heat this what happens what happens uh, your sample and cupric oxide after heating it gets converted into carbon dioxide and water as you know carbon dioxide is a gas which is lighter in weight as compared to water all right so it will travel longer and it will reach to till the end of the test tube and in uh, as you can see in, on the screen on the second in the second test tube you need to take a uh, you need you need to take a lime water so if your carbon dioxide will travel from the test tube which is getting heated it will reach to the lime water and if this lime water gets converted in by after reaching the carbon dioxide into it if it get converted into milky then you can say yes carbon is present in your given analyte all right and what happens when carbon dioxide is start traveling from uh, heated test tube it it gets stuck here in the bulb part as you can see dotted here i have shown in dotted portion so this dotted part is nothing but copper sulfate okay so when water reach to the copper sulfate and hydrous copper sulfate then what happens this and hydrous copper sulfate sulfate turns into blue color all right so this blue color uh, change in blue color represents the water is there in the compound which which confirms the presence of hydrogen in the given analyte all right so i hope you have understood this whole concept with the help of this diagram let's now i am going to explain you about the same concept with the help of chemical reaction okay so here if you are taking organic compound and cupric oxide in the test tube and you are heating it then what happens carbon dioxide water and copper will form all right as i said previously so what happens when carbon dioxide passes into lime water which is nothing but ca caos2 what happens lime water turns into milky in color and if your lime water gets turns into milky in color then you can say carbon is present in that given organic compound all right so this is a test for confirming the presence of carbon in your compound all right so uh, next is when when water is passes into the anhydrous copper sulfate what happens copper sulfate's colors gets turns into blue okay so this blue color represent indicates the presence of hydrogen in your organic compound so by this way you can confirm the presence of carbon and hydrogen in your compound by performing the this test with cupric oxide so friends i hope you have found this video useful and understood the concept so thank you very much for watching till end keep watching keep learning thanks again